read. Welcome to Log Furniture How To, the most all inclusive site on the net for log and rustic furniture, fixtures, and decor. That's logfurniturehowto.com. Hi, welcome to the San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel. My name is uh, Chris Williams, Rocky Blue Woodworks. And today we're going to demonstrate how to make a tapered leg for a bench. We're going to take uh, some rough cut 4x4 four four posts, turn them into a finished tapered leg. So here I have two posts that are 4 inches by 4 inches by 34 inches long. And I've left them uh, twice the length I need because it's easier to work with two pieces instead of four short pieces. So uh, we're going to take them to the joiner right now and joint two edges square to each other so that we can then take them to the planer. So as I'm jointing them, I'm keeping one hand towards the end of the board to keep it uh, down on the table and the other hand is towards the end of the board pushing it and I want to keep downward pressure after the cut to keep the, keep the board flat on the outfeed table and that keeps your cut perfectly straight and flat which, which is our goal to get it uh, perfectly flat and square to the other face. So now I'm taking it to the planer and I want to plane all four sides of these posts and make them both the same thickness on all four sides. So I'm just running it through till I get uh, the edges cleaned up and the edges that I'm putting down on the table are the two edges that I've already jointed on the joiner so they'll be perfectly flat and now I'm just making them uh, parallel to the bottom and all four same size. So now that I have my posts squared up, all four edges are cleaned up and squared to each other and all the same size, I have to cut them to length now on the chop saw. So I'm cutting them to 16 and 3 quarter inches and then I'm going to add a 3 quarter inch top on this bench so it'll end up being about 17 and a half inches tall. which 17 and a half to 18 as a standard chair height, so that'll work out. So now over at the workbench, I'm marking the line before I want to cut the taper, and I'm starting on the the top end of the post, uh, which would be the top of the bench, and I'm measuring down three and a half inches, because I'm going to put a three inch uh, wide frame around it, so I'll have an extra little half an inch at the bottom before the taper starts. So I'm measuring down three and a half from the top, and then over on the other end of where I want the taper to end, uh, measuring up two and a half inches from the square edge. So when my taper is done, the bottom of the leg will be two and a half inches square and the top will be uh, about three and three quarter. That's where the, they finished it off the planer. So I'm marking all four legs uh, the same. Uh, you don't have to make any rights or lefts, you can just make them all the same. And then when you rotate them to bolt them up to the frame, uh, you just turn it so that the, both the tapers face in and you don't have to make rights or lefts. Pretty simple. So I'm only marking one of the two lines that I have to cut because the second line, uh, there's no sense marking it because it's going to get cut off right away on this first cut. So I mark one cut, cut it on the bandsaw, and then take it back to the workbench, mark it again on the surface that I just cut on the bandsaw. So now we're at the bandsaw and we're going to cut off the tapered edge that we just marked and I'm going to stay about a sixteenth of an inch to the left of my mark and that'll give me some extra material to clean up on the jointer. So as you can see I'm being very careful trying to keep a straight cut on the bandsaw here and that will help me on the jointer to, uh, to clean it up just in one pass. Um, you have to be real careful on the start and the end of the cut, uh, especially the end of the cut. You have to kind of slow down, make it good and straight where it breaks out, um, because if you have a, a high spot on there, it'll mess you up on the joiner. So you're trying to get the straightest cut possible. So just take your time. So now, now that I've got all four of these cut on one taper, uh, I need to go back and mark the same way I did, three and a half inches down from the top two and a half inches up from the bottom and you're making a line on the taper that you just cut on the bandsaw. So mark all four of them the same. Like I said, you don't have to do right or left uh, legs. They're all going to be exactly the same. 
So now that I've got all four of the legs marked, I'm going to cut the same taper again uh, very carefully so I can get a nice good flat surface. So here we are back at the joiner and all we have to do is clean up our bandsaw edge, make it smooth and what we do is take, uh, you got to make sure to put up against the fence uh, one of these straight flat sides of the leg so that your taper will be square to the leg. So I'm very carefully lining it up on the fence and just running it one pass over the joiner and it cleans up the bandsaw marks and that's pretty much it. You just flip it over and do the other side and do all four all four legs the same same depth of cut. It should take off all your bandsaw marks if you've done a good job on the bandsaw and had a pretty straight cut. If not, you might have to run it over a couple times or just sand it out later. Okay, so now I'm taking it over to the shaper and I'm just radiusing the edges of all the corners. Uh, I'm using a 3 16 round over bit. Um, doing this on the shaper, you can do it on a router table or with a handheld router. So I'm just uh, rounding off all the edges so they're not sharp, no splinters coming out. And after this, all you have to do is sand it all down and put whatever kind of finish you want on there. Well, thanks for watching how we made a simple uh, tapered leg for a bench or a coffee table. Um, as you can see, it looks just like these uh, finished ones. It's got taper on two edges and square on the other two edges. So, um, if you'd like to see how we build the frame to make the bench, uh, click right here and this will take you to the next video on how we build using simple pocket hole joinery. It's very simple to make, but very sturdy. So, so if you have any questions or comments, please uh, write them down below the video and please subscribe to the, our channel and share it with your f family and friends. Thanks for watching San Juan Carpentry YouTube channel. This is Chris Williams with Rocky Blue Woodworks and we'll see you next time. The music you heard in this video was performed by Colorado pianist Lacey Black. To find out more about Lacey, you can visit her website at laceyblack.net or find her on Facebook.